Hey guys, Spaceman here, and in this video, I'm gonna be giving like a live commentary kind of thing uh, as the video goes on. Uh, right now, in this video, the audio is gonna be cut because I was in a call with my friends. Uh, so yeah, the audio is gonna be cut. So, but I'm here. I'm gonna uh, give you guys some quality quality commentary on my own PB. So here I spawn in a ocean without any trees and immediately I start looking around for a shipwreck so I see one start swimming over there there's some dolphins uh, it's a good really good shipwreck you get food and you get iron out of those type these types of shipwrecks so I just go there I think along the way like uh, a drown hits me or something yeah, there you go. He starts throwing his turret in, and one of them hits me. <laughs> Thankfully, it's not too much damage. I'm good though. Yeah. There's a really dumb thing that I do in this shipwreck, I think. I think I try to go back up, but realize I will be taking damage. So we'll take up damage. And here, I craft an iron pressure plate. For no reason, I already have an air pocket. That was kind of that was the dumbest thing that I did all throughout this run. <laughs> there may be more, I'm not sure, but let's let's see. Let's see. Okay, just do the do the usual crafting. Grabbing some extra wood um, to make doors and a boat, I think. Yeah. So yeah, there you go. Made a boat, made a door. Got some extra bread. I think I will be making stone tools here. So I think there's like a magma room like right next to this place or something. Right now, I am recording like the morning after. I PB'd like at midnight, so I'm recording the morning after, so I, I forgot a few stuff, so <laughs> sorry about that. I need some flint. Gonna be grabbing some flint here. Good thing this this run is that I got a lot of food from a shipwreck, which is pretty pretty good actually. I got a lot of bread actually and carrots. There we go, there's a uh, solid three flints sub 330 enter. And there's the bastion, that's the bastion's like right next to me. I could have spawned on top, I think, if I was a little higher up with my portal but it's okay I still managed to like uh, grab some blocks and bridge over and stuff I'm not gonna spoil what type of passion it is <laughs> yet and I and uh, this lava almost could have killed my run if I started speed bridging early <laughs> and so here as you can see, it's a Sables Bastion, so it's one of the harder Bastions throughout. Just go down straight to this place, grab some gold, make some gold armor, I think. Yeah, and uh, just take the hit from this big win. Don't really mind that; doesn't really do a lot of damage. I'm on easy difficulty, so don't really mind that. We go in, just set up for the route. Now this is. I'm not sure too sure too sure about this route if this is the most efficient route. I just did what worked for me. 
Uh, here it turned my difficulty to normal, so the pigs would like drop in. And immediately I turned back to easy because if I managed to get hit by the piglins, I might get like completely wrecked. Like that guy hit me, and I think I wasted a bit of time here, like dropping all the gold and stuff. Grabbing the extra gold, making sure that no one's angry at me. They've already done like three trades, so they shouldn't be angry anymore. So I'm gonna drop all my gold in and I'm gonna go back up and check the chest, I think. Yeah. Since you don't wanna waste time like just loitering around, you you wanna you wanna make sh make most you wanna be efficient with the time, right? So let's go up here and and this guy keeps blocking me for some reason, so I have, to, I have to waste some extra blocks. And I think I get Obby on my second chest, not this one. Oh no, never mind. Which, which chest did I get Obby from? I'm sure. Ah, there we go. Got four. Got a decent bit of armor as well, so that's that's pretty good. Um, I'm just checking the time to see like how long has it been. S a six minutes like exit is like really not that not that bad. If it was a fashion, I would have been this would have been sub ten blind. So yeah. I'm just gonna be waiting for one more pearl trade I think, and I think I'm out here. Yeah, I've already got my string, I've got plenty of fire ass. Yeah, I'm out. Goodbye. Thank you, Mr. Bastion. And here I like do the pirate, check if there's a spawner. And I end I actually I think I go to the wrong quadrant first and waste like a minute. So it's not that much of a time loss, but I realize quickly I think here and just like just a gravel speed up the process you don't want to get like you don't want to be slowed down by the soul sand mm. so I'm just trying to like use that planar fog thing to check out if there's a fortress over there and here I think I realized that it's probably not in this quadrant, so I'm gonna be going back. A lot of fog rooms over there. So that's about a minute and a half wasted, like looking for the fortress. There we go. There I see the fortress. I'm like hyping myself up. Let's go. This is possibly PB if I have a, a decent line. And yeah, there I see the spawner. I just go up here and um, clap these guys. I get one one rod, but I see the other spawner, so I'm just gonna be going over to the other one. Get a few more places to spawn. Like this one, this um, this fortress is like partly in a warp forest, so. 5 RD should help, but I don't think I did it immediately. I only realized it, <coughs> excuse me, I only realized it after, like, when I, um, um, uh, when I, when 
I saw that I'm not getting any place base play stones. I think that's when I realized that. Here I'm gonna be trying to place bed, but please do not please do not do what I'm doing because this is the most inefficient method I think. <laughs> like I was trying to remember the thing on out of the top of my head, so I like completely like I'm like wondering wait, am I doing it wrong? Am I doing it right? I'm like not sure what the, what the hell I'm doing. Here I take a lot of damage, which is like uncalled for. Because I already have not a lot of food so this is a huge mistake on my part like doing the blaze bed wrong check the stats to see that this is like a decent pace i play on full screen so um i occasionally bring up the stats menu to see like what's my igt like i don't have two monitors so i can't be all tabbing up, like out of the game all the time So here I'm just waiting for like places to spawn. Takes a uh, takes a while, but I'll get my six rods. I think. Again, just waiting for places to spawn. Um, like right now, my coordinates are not that good. I think I need to be going more on the C coordinate. Like I think I was uh, pretty low on the C axis. But my X was like really high right here. Here I see like a place spawned like on the bridge, as you can see. And this guy gives me a rod, which is pretty cool. Just waiting for one more rod, and I'm and I'm out of the fortress. Arranging my inventory a little bit. Oh, and these ghasts really, really screwed me up. Like these guys just came in; they just didn't give any, any, any respect to me. <laughs> they just kept hitting me, hitting me. I think they kept following me, like till my blind travel spot. So here I get my sixth start. I'm starting to leave, and I already know that that's the direction that I need to go, and that's the positive Z direction, I think. And here, like, I'm getting chased by the skeletons. A ghast is also shooting at me. I do, I do not know how I didn't take damage from that. Like, the ghast actually shot me. Just threw a fireball at me, so I'm not sure. Either way, I'll just make my portal here. Just your usual portal method. And, yeah. So, I'm out at, like, I'd say... A low 12 which is pretty bad for a sub 20 like if you want to confirm sub 20 if you hit a sub 10 blind you're, you're pretty much guaranteed a sub 20 but this is the best base for that uh, so I'd, I'd like to say that so first of all I spawned in the cave so this also like takes away some time This is also some extra time, so yeah. I spawned in the cave. And uh, I slept because it was night. I don't know, I didn't want to like mess with the mobs. So, and here I craft my pearls. I mean, my eyes of ender. And throw one, check the angle. It's around 160 ish, 168 ish, I'm not sure. Yeah. And I just go away, TV a little bit. It's around 172. It's like a lot of angle change, and I know that the strongest close now because of the uh, angle difference. Not even sure if I did the correct uh, method of that, but it's still like I, I knew like roughly how to do it. Here I just killed the place for some extra food because I was actually on zero food. And I forgot to grab a water bucket right here could have saved me like five seconds <laughs> and here i check my course it's not really in like uh usually it's not like usually very strong will spawn 1200 and stuff so i'm gonna be uh going to 1400 ish i think like on the z axis and right now i'm not even going along the i i think i think i'm just trying to like yeah here i figure out that i'm going to the wrong side like I'm supposed to be going in the negative direction. So 
throw another pearl it says one minus 150 and i'm like holy sh crap it's right here and here my pearl snaps so i'm like panicking should i throw another pearl or should i just like wing it because it's already close by and this next pearl throw is where i knew exactly where the stronghold was and um, right here so pearl goes back so usually the eye of enter points to 8-8 eight, eight in a chunk so just looking at my chunk numbers so it's gonna go to 8-8 eight, eight. so i'm just gonna go be i'm gonna be going to 4-4 four, four. um i'm not sure if this it was correct like i was perfectly on top of it but you can still check it out Just having my water bucket ready because in case I need to do some MLG stuff and of course I failed the MLG but I do end up like near the start staircase and uh, st I start my nav here I check the hidden room first because that's what I like to do I usually check the hidden room I get an extra golden apple which will come in handy as you will see soon um, <laughs> here it just destroyed the button right there <laughs> um, well, I am kind of panicking here because this is a really good place. And I spot the freaking portal room. And there's two creepers just waiting for me. So, I need to be careful. And it's perfect one eye, that too. I'm like... And this is the huge part. The creeper blows me up. It messes up everything. My This is where my, like, uh, FPS experience comes in. I'm, like, trying my best not to misclick and throw an eye. <laughs> and we just get into the end at a low 16. So yeah, this should be PB for sure if I don't mess up the end. So immediately I burn through the fountain, but I tried that. I, which I mean, I tried to pearl it at least. <laughs> and here I actually throw the pearl. I'm gonna be setting up for east west. I see the dragons on the left. I'm going to the right. And here I hit the actual Chad God perch. Here he comes. I'm gonna pearl in. I'm gonna quickly get four beds and enjoy the cycle, I guess. Boys, boys, I just pee ra. Dee dee dee. Oh my god, I just pee I just pee I just pee Wait for wait for wait for wait for So, yeah. That was it, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this PB. If you did, make sure to like. Uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel and here accidentally like I <laughs> like uh, go from full screen to like tap because I was with my friends in discord I was trying to stream to them <laughs> as well so <laughs> yeah so yeah um thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you guys in the next video make sure to subscribe and like uh, yeah do all that good stuff and yeah I'll see you in the live stream or I'll see you in the next video peace out guys